name's Artemis Perry, <laughs> and I'm a dimension jumper. Uh, not that I'm doing it right now. Uh, it's not a full-time job or, or, or a part-time job. I, 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 I don't even get paid for it. Tea? <laughs> Dimension jumping? Oh, I must have been youth. It was 942 weeks at the time. Oh, why? Right. And that's, uh... Quite young, I know. It came to me in a dream. I was up late one night, drinking heavily, tripped over a vacuum cleaner and fell into a deep sleep. That was the clue, you see, the vacuum cleaner. After all, you can't really clean something by depositing it with air pressure. Um, but it got me thinking, all I had to do was the same thing to myself. By depositing myself for reality, could slip away from one dimension and reattach to another. Like falling off a cube. Ooh, uh, milk. Oh, milk. Oh, I'm dearest. So, does that involve travelling faster than the speed of light, like intergalactic travel? No! 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 I don't travel through time or space. It's dimension jumping. Uh, you see, uh, you see this stack of paper here? Imagine our dimension is one piece of paper in this stack. One plane with many other planes surrounding it. And all you have to do to travel from one dimension to another is to find a tear or a, a rib. Detachment is the key to dimensional travel. Right, right. And do you really believe these alternative worlds exist? Oh yes, absolutely. Of course I do. I've been to them. I hope I have, otherwise I've been wasting my life. Oh, uh, careful, world. So, did I mention oh. jump? Is that a machine you built, or chemical, or, or, or what is it? Ah, well, I suppose the best way to understand it would be a ball of energy matter infused into a latticework of cotton and polyester which can tear your very soul from one dimension into another. So, does that mean you could, like, stop Hitler in an alternative universe? Why does everyone always bring up Hitler? In most of the dimensions I visit, Hitler was never born. Or, in many of them, there's no such place as Germany. Each dimension is unique, with its own unique history. And even if I stopped Hitler in another dimension, he would still be here. We'd always have had a Hitler. I can't change our past. That's time travel again. Oh, all right. So, it's just a for different people, then? Not always, no. Um, sometimes they're more technologically advanced than us, sometimes less. Uh, sometimes they have different physical laws to us. I visited one dimension where water could be used as a building material, and you could shape it just like wood. Staying in a hotel there was a unique experience. Not much privacy, though. Do you have to have a great knowledge in science to understand the capabilities of dimension jumping? Oh, yes. I myself have a GCSE in physics. So when do we get to see a dimension jump for ourselves? Uh, in a few days. It takes a little while to warm up the old Trevorette. Trevorette? Uh, yes. Uh, I'd like the name Trevor, you see. And engineers always seem to name their vehicles after women. Hence, Trevor Ed. Hmm. Oh, you mentioned over the phone you have other inventions. Um, can, can we see any of those? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What would you like to see first? I have the, uh, ooh, can you see? The vegetable colourer. I don't know what this does, but when I do that, it smells of cardamom. Oh, um, well, okay, uh, the, the, the burglar alarm. Is mm. that just a normal burglar alarm? Ah, mm, the principle is the same, but uh, instead of the burglar breaks in and uh, this burglar alarm is set off, but instead of a high-pitched wailing noise, instead it makes exactly the right sort of music to entice the burglar into staying, while simultaneously calling the police. So, uh, so... Does it really work? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, um, last time I had it installed, I was on holiday. Some little scallywag from the neighbourhood broke in. Uh, apparently some sweet rave went down. Uh, the kids on the street were talking about it for weeks afterwards. Nothing got stolen, though. I see. 
And a popular choice, oh yes, yes, a popular choice with the kids, is uh, hover vehicles. Yes, I suppose you have seen the uh, hover boards in films. Oh, wow, yeah, you've, you've got a hoverboard. Oh, Can oh, we see that? I've got something better than that. Oh, I present to you the hover pogo stick. Well, now you can bounce along, but in thin air. Oh, I see. Well, how does that work, actually? Because don't pogo sticks normally work on bouncing back on the ground on the spring? Uh, yes, they do. I just fiddled with this until it came off the floor. Oh, and how does that work? I don't know, but it obviously does. Good morning, Artemis. And what are you up to? Oh. Good morning. I'm trying to develop Z-ray vision. Z-ray vision? Mm, to see beyond normal human X-ray vision, past the borders of this dimension and into another. It'll help me decide, decide where I'm going next. Normal X-ray vision? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to see the Shed of Discovery today? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call it the Briarette, as I've always liked the name Brian, and as I've said, engineers always seem to name their vehicles after women. I call it Brianna. Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Ah, oh, that's what I get for not paying attention to this dimension. Are you ready to see the Brianna? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. thinking. Oh, that just looks like an ordinary shed. Well, that's the charm, you see. If I put a sign on the door saying, Keep out! Extreme science happening inside! It will arise suspicion at all those idiots that live round here. Oh, are you okay with me swearing? Um, yeah, it, it's fine. It's a documentary, just be yourself. Right, okay, I get confused about things like that sometimes. Once when I was in the dimensional plane, Verne, I got, had to pretend to be a woman stuck in the body of a dog in a man's brain. It got confusing quite quickly. But this here is where the magic happens. And by magic I mean... Science! Oh! And what do we have here? Go away, do not want. It's a friendly autocloth from the dimension G. What do you want? Oh, Jeffrey, we have guests. I call him Jeffrey as I've always rather liked the name Jeffrey. Not Jeff that then. No, why'd I do that? My name is Boris. <laughs> Good one, Jeffrey. <laughs> so, it's a talking cloth we're looking at here. Uh, yes, one of the few things I've been able to bring back with me on my travels. Hmm, in the dimension G. All cleaning products can talk, and yet they haven't discovered nuclear power. Cleaning products will rise up and kill all! <laughs> oh, this one is self aware and so tormented at being stuck in the body of a duster that it does get a bit tetchy sometimes. I want to die, but not without taking you all with me. Scorch the planet, or well burn. But at least he hasn't lost his sense of humour. So, uh, this class from another dimension. Mm -hmm. Are there any rules on bringing stuff back from other dimensions? Oh, yes! The Br uh, Trevorette can only transport cloth and flesh. I have to take off my glasses and watch every time I jump. Uh, that's how I brought Jeffrey back, uh, in my pocket. What about the circuit board on um, Jeffrey? Oh, that's flesh, so that's fine. Okay. Oh, just out of thought, what about diseases? They're pretty strict about it going abroad and what, another dimension. You could bring back all sorts. I did have a bit of a scare once. Oh, oh, I thought I'd caught some sort of smallpox. Looked it up on the internet, all the symptoms matched. Uh, so I went to the doctor. Turned out it wasn't smallpox, but some unknown virus never before seen in this world. So, thank God yeah. it wasn't smallpox. You were uh, still have this unknown virus. Oh, yes! But it didn't smallpox. <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Mm. That's okay. Um, so, where is the Trevorette? Aha! Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Ta da! It's some silver clothes. Some silver clothes with the power of knowledge infused into their very fibres. The knowledge to dimension jump. Have they been on charge for the past month? You aren't impressed. Oh no, no, it's not that. I just think we were expecting something a bit more, um... Scientific? What do you think science looks like? I can't have traipsing around other dimensions. It's something that attracts attention. 
We have to blend in. And besides, you never forget where you parked a suit. Have I seen your dimension job before? Oh, yes. Jeffrey's seen me lots of times. He always returns. Well, we see you return. How long are you usually gone for? Uh, it depends. Sometimes minutes, sometimes days. The longest was, ooh, two months. I happily remember those months. So, is this it? You're going to dimension jump for us? Absolutely. Just one moment while I get a drink. Emma, are you, are you ready? Mm, mm. Ah, yes. Just one moment. Mm. Let me... Limber up a bit. That should about do it. Are you ready to back off? Back off? Are you, are you coming outside? Uh, no, no, I always jump from inside my shed. But uh, for health and safety reasons, I'd much rather you guys were over there. I don't want you getting accidentally caught up in the jump. So... We won't get to see you, Joe. Of course you will, of course, of course, of course. But from over there, I, I'm not being funny. I just don't want you guys to get hurt. Uh, OK, we, we just need to discuss. Of course. So, um, what I think we should do is, uh, if we just, if we just hide the cam, the man cam in the shed, and then hopefully he won't notice and see what he does on there. So you OK with sneaking him that in? Yeah. Mr. Miss? Mm-hmm? We've, uh, talked about it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool to get the footage and everything, but you know what you're doing. Mm, oh, yeah, absolutely. Safe. Like I say, no, don't want any trouble. If you guys get caught up in a dimensional vortice, goodness knows what will happen. End of the world. I mean, it's a shame we can't go see it. Yes, well, it's, yes, absolutely, but you will still see something. All right. Well, we'll just be over there and you go do your stuff. Okie dokie. All right. right. Um, when will we know that you jump, actually? Oh, no matter. I was going to do this and you've got a secret door around the back of it. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes, go Here on. Go. Yeah. Let's go and answer that. Wo sind, weil das Interview gekommen? 